Okay, so I can start the session uh, as me as you may have gone through the lectures uh, for the week nine and studied the differential amplifier. So the session is mainly on finding the gain in differential amplifiers. Maybe uh, it may be uh, differential mode gain. Or common so these will be the two types of games we will calculate for the circuits. Okay. 
let's first check the question. Okay, so this is my single stage uh, differential mode amplifier. The values of the parameters, these are DGTs, right? This is N P N and this is N P for differential mode amplifiers, these two will be identical. So that's why B1, B2 is equivalent to 240 and VB on voltage is 256. Early voltage, which we will see if we need it or not. And then we have RC1, these are the load resistances, equal to 3.6 at all. The RT, this resistance is 1 to 1. Power supply, will load. And VNC, that is gate biasing. Here, also the transistor going into a I just need to just take out the
Uh, hi everyone, uh, so welcome to lecture 2. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to talk about uh, different neurons, mechanical pitch neuron, thresholding logic, perceptrons, and even look at the learning. Uh, hello. No, okay. So it's working now. Hmm. So you know, we are still at the NC question, so nothing is lost. So this is our transistor. We need to find V01 is equivalent to V02 for these two transistors. Okay. Well, let's uh, let me give you a glimpse of an. That's it. Yes, uh, you may have studied that in your all day last period and time. So let me just directly go to solving this part. But uh, you may have known that for differential mode, if this is let's say with T for differential mode. This VT is grounded. Okay. So you may have gone through the lectures and understood why VT is grounded. If not, we can discuss it all the time. So for this question though, we just need to find the DC voltage. So let me just show that. So we have uh, input voltage V i and C here, right? We have this voltage and this voltage is across Q1 from this loop. So this is ground and this is here. So it drops across. Drops across. Transistor. And the resistor. RT. And drop across. Transistor is VBER, that is 26 volt and drop across register RT is equivalent to VT. Therefore, VINC is equivalent to a, B, E plus V, T. Okay. So what we can do is, we have V, I, N, C. V, I, N, C is 3.6 volts. 3.6 volts is equivalent to Zero point six plus V T. So this implies V T is three point six minus zero point six is equal to three four. So V T is your this voltage. This is your point. Sorry, this is your figure. Now, what is V T? 
this is the current going through the transistor that is it multiply the resistor re Okay, so this is uh, if the current of IT flows through the transistor. Now, uh, if you have gone through the lectures, uh, we can split this differential mode into two halves, right? We can split the analysis in two halves so that. Says that this current flowing through the transistor one will be IT by two and D two IT by two, but with resistor as two times RT, resistor as two times. Okay, so the drop remains same. So if I write for a single Transistor your BT will be IT by 2 multiplied by 2 times RT, which will be again given by RT. So this is 3 volt and IT, and your RT is the RT is 1 kilo ohm. So therefore, IT is family inputs. So now we have IT. So now we need to find what is asked in the question. That is, find the voltage. That is, V or not 1 is equivalent to V not 2 is equivalent to V not DC. So it will be given by let's call it as v naught directly this is again vcc simple right so this is vcc minus v naught sorry v naught will be vcc minus current flow and focus transistor that is it by 2 okay so i can write vcc minus it by 2 multiply by rc and RC1 or RC2 is 3.3 kilo. Let me just call it RC. So VCC is 12 minus 3 milli by 2 multiply RC that is 3.3 K K and V by VC. So V now is twelve minus 7.05. So this is voltage which will be DC voltage, which will be at this node. Okay. Simple. Let's move on. Okay, refer refer to the circuit shown in figure 9.1. Again, the same figure. Find the maximum output voltage swing at each output with respect to DC level in the negative direction without having significant 
distortion for the sound. So again, we have done the same type of questions. What we need first is DC voltages. First, note down DC voltages. So what do we have in the output port? We have 7.05 volt. And we have voltage of VT, which is my emitter voltage. And that is given as A volt. Okay. And I have DCC of A volt. I need this information and I need information about VCE, VCZ, which is 0 0.3. So can we do this now? Let's say this is my ground plane. This is my ground terminal, which is at 0 volt. This is my output voltage, which is at 7.05 volt. This is my VCC, which is at 12 volt. So my signal, uh, output signal in the positive direction can go to at a maximum of 12 volt. But when it is at 12 volt, the transition may turn off. So it cannot go above 12 volt. And in the lower side, I need to maintain the device in saturation. And I have an emitter voltage that is VTE, VE at 3 volt. And I need a cushion of, let me just draw it with a different color. This is point. So if a signal comes, so it should have a maximum swing of this is seven point zero five minus three minus point three. And if I go above, let's say I go above. So this is 12 minus 7.05. That is, let's calculate it. First, let's calculate the one 7.05 minus 3 minus 0.3. This is, sorry, I did something wrong. 7.05 minus 3 minus 0.3. This is 3.75 volt and this is 12 minus 7.05 4.95 so whenever we calculate a swing we need to consider minimum of 4.95 3.75 Therefore, three point seven five is your peak voltage. So this is your answer. So we need to always consider the minimum. Okay, next, find the differential mode gain of the differential amplifier shown in figure nine point one. So as I said, as you may have gone to the lectures as well, for the differential mode amplifier, the half circuit looks as like this. This will be your half circuit, right? For differential mode, and for this case, the gain will be simply let's say GM multiply by RC. I'm writing GM RC because the transistors are identical, and RC one is equal to RC two, 
I'm just writing it as RC. And now I need to call the GM. So GM is IC by VT. And here GM will be IC is IC is IT by 2. So this is IT by 2 times VT. So that is 1.5 by 26 milli, which comes up to be 3 by 52. So my gain will be 3 by 52 multiplied by RC, that is 3.3 kilowatt. Let me just complete it. 3.3 multiplied by 3 divided by 52. Comes up to be 190.3. This is my differential mode gain. Okay. So it's like this for transistor one, transistor two, it will be minus GM one, RC one, V in. One and this is the GM two or C and GM one is equivalent to GM two or C one is equivalent to R C two and V in one is equivalent to V in two is equal to V in by two for differential mode case with difference in phase and therefore V naught is equivalent to two times. GM RC because the total gain will be the total output voltage will be given by V of 1 minus V of 2 so it comes up to be this and this total gain is GM RC all right so let's move on. Find the common mode gain of the differential circuit. Again, the same figure. Now we need to find the common mode gain. In the common mode case, the half circuit looks like this. This is my half circuit for the common mode case. So this is my circuit. And for the circuit, we can just calculate the gain if I draw the gain. 
Ukrainą įsakė. This is my RC, this is my output. So, you can write from the KCL, do not by RC. Plus G on BE is equivalent to zero. So this basically means the output will be minus G on RC will be A. So this is G on RC. This is A minus VE. VE. Here VE is GM. Will be e multiplier and times rt right There is a current drop. I eat one here, so my V E is I E two times R A, right? And therefore V E it will be G M V B E two times R T. Okay, so if I Add and subtract. Add, add, add V I N on the both sides like this. Sorry, subtract. So I will get V E two times R two, right? So this is V N minus V E is V B E. I will get plus two times sorry G N V B E. Two times R T will be equivalent to V in. So therefore, my V in is one plus G N two times R T multiplied by V T E. Therefore, we know. V output, which is minus GMRC VPE, it can be written as in terms of VN, GMRC VPE is VN divided by 1 plus GM2RT. On common mode being is equivalent to V output by the input is equal to GMRC to the one plus GM to the Now for case GM two times GMRT is equal to the one. Therefore, let's call it as AC, that is common voltage gain. It will be RC by two times. This is the most common. Answer we will see in the text. So by using this formula RC by 2 RT, we can find the common mode gain. Right. So you know RC that is 3 point 3 point K, there the two point one point so I have taken the mod so it will be one point six three
Okay, it's more. The question is find the common mode output signal given by for the differential mode circuit. Again, the circuit is same. The input signals for the differential amplifier circuit are given as. These are the two signals that two input nodes select the closest option. We need to find the common mode. Okay, I have done one mistake here. When we take the half circuits, we need to consider the two this is one. Okay. So my V node one is GM one RC one. G1 two times R2 multiplied by two. Similarly, V2 is GN2 RC2 divided by one plus two plus V1. Sorry, V1. So these are my two signals. These are the two signals. Now I need to find common voltage V or C. So that will be V naught one plus V naught two by two. If we assume uh, GM one two times R D is greater than one, so it will be given by R C one by two times R D. Plus R C two by two times R D, all divided by two, and we have V input two. We input so, RC1 is equivalent to RC2, GM1, sorry, I has no change. So, I can write VOC as V1. 
or set the two times R T to V in Y plus V in T. This is my common voltage. So this folder is very cool. So from the question we can see V in 1, we have this voltage plus V in 2. The first term is same, so it will get cancelled. And other term is same, so it will be 2 times. So RC will be RC at 4 times RT, 4 times 0 0.4 sine of 2 pi by 8. Okay. Point two times R C by R T sign of Two pi by eight. Okay. So this is <coughs> RC by RT. That is RT is one kilo and RC is three point three. So it will be point two and minus three point three. This one, right? So this is close. What can see? Now next, find the output voltage in V02 for the differential circuit. Same figure. The input voltage are again input voltage the same. Now we need to consider V input minus V input two, right? This is a differential voltage. So this will be. So if I subtract the two, I have these terms. So the second term is will cancel, and first two terms will add up. So it will be zero point zero one four sine of two pi by two times r for t. And the output is given by AD times. So we know for the circuit, we calculated the gain AD in the first part as 190.38. So it will be 190.38 multiplied by AD, that is point four. Sine of two by two that's repeated multiply by time. So it is basically one ninety point three eight multiply by two point six six sine of two by two. So this is my differential mode voltage, right? So now but the question is find the output voltage saying so we need to consider the common mode as well. So Common mode 
including common mode, my total voltage will be V output by C minus Now, what will be the common voltage, common mode voltage for this setup? Like I calculated for this figure in the previous part, it will be directly add them. So the first terms will be cancelled. Let's just stop it. So the output common voltage will be adding the two. So I will be left with 0.8 sine of two pi by. So that is the previous answer directly, right? So I have this answer. That is given by 0.66 sine of 2 pi by 3. So this is my common voltage. So now look for the answer. So my total voltage V naught by 2 will be minus we know that okay so 0.66 uh, it is in let's say option c and then minus v naught b by 2 so if i divide 2.66 by 2 it is 1.33 so option is c part Okay. Now let's move to the MOSFET part. Till now we did the questions on DTT. Again, these are the same type of question. Let's go through them quickly. The circuit shown in figure 9.2 is a single stage fully differential. While the values of the device parameters for both transistors, P to the L, these are threshold voltage and general modulation parameters are uh, given. The values of the components and okay, supply voltage. Okay. So refer to the circuit in figure nine point two. So the maximum output voltage see. Okay. Towards the negative side. And for that, what we need is we need to find the Gibson voltage first. So first I need the two points given this five mode. My now ISP, which is the current point for the P, which is the P MOSFET. ISD will be KW by two L VSG minus VTHP whole square. KW by 2L 
that is 2 milli by 2 this is VSG. This is VSG minus session voltage is 1 volts here. Okay. So this is one. So this is one milli VSG minus one volts here. Now again, uh, if we look here, we can get ISD from the equation as from Ohm's number. ISD can be written as VDD minus VSG. And this is VDD minus uh, this is VSG. This is my S and this is heat voltage. Okay. So I can write VDD minus VSG minus VINC by ORP. This is the This is the total currencies for this. We are writing the KPL in this direction. See here, this is the voltage drop of EDD, then we have VSG, and then we have VINC here. And it is divided by uh, All right. Now we need to equate the equations. So we get VTD minus VSG minus VINC. Let me just transpose RT multiply by 1 milli VSG minus this guy. Okay, now I have. Uh, Everything known here. Let's uh, solve this. What do we have? We have VDD minus VSG. RT is one kilo ohm, I guess. Hmm. And one kilo multiplied by one milli. Let me just write this. And some force here. Yeah. So this is 12 minus VSG minus VINC, which is 5. Is it valid? Plus G square plus one minus two times plus G. Plus G. Thank you. 
let's not solve it. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just this is 12 minus 5 minus ESG is equal to the 10 ESG minus 1 minus so this implies ESG minus 1 whole square is equal to 10. 12 minus 5 and 7 Okay. So this is 12 minus 5 minus v is 2 is equivalent to 1 step. This is 7 minus VSG, 2 times VSG times 10, plus 1 minus 2 times VSG. So this is VSG squared minus 2 times VSG, this is 4 and this will be times VSG minus 2 and minus 5. Minus two is equivalent to two. So this is my quadratic equation, All right? Hmm. So therefore, S G will be This is three plus minus five and approximately seven five by four. So I will get two values of this G. One is five point seven five plus three divided by four, two point one eight seven five, and another is VSG. So we cannot take negative one, so the first part is we need to take this part, right? So this is my answer. You still uh, if you are following this video, 
still need to check whether this is correct or not. So once we have this, we need to calculate ISD, which is then given by which is then given by V K W by 2 N. So that's already calculated. So we can just verify it as 1 minus G minus 1 whole square. So ISD is 1 minus A. Uh, this is 2.1 is in 5 minus 1 whole square. So ISD is Two point one is approximately one point four milliampere. And then what do we needed to find was Voltage, uh, we need to find the voltage, the output, so that will be ISD1 multiplied by RT1, which will be this current. This is very important. Four milli multiplied by RD, which is one point six kilo. So then swing, then you have this is that ground. This is the potential which you get. That is one point six. Multiply by one point four. That is two point two four. This is a twelve volt. And now you have V naught. Calculate with this point and for saturation, VSD should be greater than VHG sad that is VSG minus VTSP use this condition find this voltage VS and uh, you have then uh, VST You have D here as well, so you can find V S. You can find uh, you have already found V D. Then you need to check what is V S D and then find it. So I hope you can do. It. Oh. 
question is find the common mode rejection ratio which is given as C and R is given as 20 log of AD by AC. AD is differential mode gain and AC is common mode gain. And we have the same circuit and my AD is given as JMRT and that is absolutely that is absolute value and AC is JMRT divided by 1 plus we did the derivation of the right my gm from the direct equation sorry most equation is vsg minus vthp right so i can directly write it uh, as have values but this comes out to be around in many sense therefore ad as immediately and multiply RD comes out to be 4.8 and similarly AC comes out to be 5.7 therefore CMR is 80 by AC that is 7 this is not an eternity law right this is not a deal. And in DB, in DB, it will be from the log of seven. Okay. Now we have a circuit which includes uh, BGT as well as the MOSFETs. The BGT is used for, for biasing. These are the parameters. So let's just jump to the question directly. Point output voltage swing towards the positive side. First, what is the transistor current? Which will be IC1 that is given by this value. And ID1 can be written as VCC minus VED on by RD1. This is P and P, right? So this is my base, this will be my emitter, this will be my collector. So ED is given, so I can write VCC minus this drop VEB and the total um, resistance is RB1 and this IB1 can be given by VCC is uh, 12 volt minus VEB on is 0.6 so the RB1 is 570k and therefore IC1 is beta times this value which is 120 multiplied by 11.4 by 570 k and it comes out to be 2.4 million now we know the transistor current so we can have two values of ic vector here flowing through the these two values so therefore isd1 isd2 this isd3 is equivalent to IC by 2 is equal to 1.2 million. So this is the amount of current that is going through the this transistor. Now output voltage swing. We need to calculate this. What's the So swing positive side means uh, when we go towards the uh, Supply voltage. That is the maximum voltage you can go to is VCC. So we write the condition VCC that is this voltage plus 
minus VPC set VCC that is a terminal we have this voltage condition for the saturation of uh, transistor BGT we set minus then we have the SD set here the SD set this for this and then we have our voltage that is this so this is 12 minus VC set is 0.3 minus VSD set for the VSD set I can write VSG minus UTHP minus V not this So this is twelve. This is eleven point seven minus VSG. Um, this can be written as under root of two times IST divided by KW by L. And this is given as 2.4, so this comes out to be 1 way. And what are we not underscore DC? So we not underscore DC is this voltage which will be given by current point for this transistor IOS D2 multiplied by R D2, which is 1.2 milli multiplied by R D2. That is four point seven two. This comes out to be five point zero six. So swing will be ten point seven minus five point zero six. Ah, this is six four. This comes out to be five point zero six. That I just need to Okay, we have the difference here. Find the range of uh, find the range of input mode com input common or DC voltage via AC such that both M2 and M2 are operating in the saturation and Q1 is the right to reason for the definition. Okay. So we need to find the range. So my VINC, I can write it as VCC minus this YNC, right? I can write it as VCC in the upper direction, right? VCC minus VSG plus VCC. Mm. 
this is G, this is my S. So, uh, I just let me have a VHG to do. You can calculate the uh, VHG in the same way if it was very valid. So, this is this, this is the same. This is one way. And another is. Uh, this is from the one side and then from the other side it will be not by the PHP. So my V I and C should be one is for the saturation. I guess you can do this. You just need to find the AD, the AC, and do this part. The last question is uh, advantage of using equity device on a faster MC is to generate the field that the location mode is pop. We'll get a very high instance. Verify. So your AC that is common with gain, which is given by one plus two times G N multiplied by resistance. Normally we use a resistance, let's say RT, we use it all the questions. So if we use a transistor, we get a very high resistance. When we get a very high resistance, we get a very low. AC, so which is what is desired. Common mode gain is decreased. This is the answer. So let's meet, uh, let's uh, have another session. Um, so for this, we can just write CMRR, this twenty log of AD by AC. Find this. Yes, this will be let's meet next week and we can close the session. Thank you.